Hello, pretty nice day today. Temperatures in the 70s to low 80s on Wednesday afternoon. And this pattern of warm temperatures and scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue tonight. And it's going to continue really through the rest of the week with the rain chances increasing as we get closer to the weekend. Unfortunately, I know it's a big weekend, but Saturday is looking kind of wet. We'll talk more about that here in just a second. I do want to show you what's going on. We actually have a big system, a big low sitting out in Colorado that is going to very slowly move onto the plains and across the upper Midwest from now through Saturday into Sunday. And then finally, it's going to get out of here as we make our way into uh, Sunday. I think we'll see the sunshine by Sunday afternoon, but it's going to be a slow mover. It's going to bring scattered rain and thunderstorms. And we will also be dealing with the potential for maybe a little heavier rain by Friday night, Saturday into Saturday night. So that's really what our focus is going to be here as we watch the weather for the next few days. As we take you through tonight into tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely. In fact, there will be some pockets of some heavy rain overnight tonight. Here we are at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. A pretty widespread batch of showers and thunderstorms likely with temperatures dropping into the low 60s. As we uh, make our way into the day tomorrow, the rain's going to end. We'll get a break. Some sunshine will help us warm back into the upper 70s tomorrow. And then we'll see more scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night into Friday with a fairly dry day Friday. But then Friday night, Saturday, I think, is when we're going to see our best chance for uh, potentially some heavy rain. The good news is we are not going to be uh, dealing with much in the way of severe weather. Here's the severe thunderstorm potential as we make our way into the weekend for uh, tonight. Uh, just a marginal chance at uh, a couple of stronger storms tomorrow. Same thing, slight chance of maybe some hail or wind. A little better chance on Friday with some stronger thunderstorms, especially down in Iowa. We'll be keeping an eye on that, but most of that should be just south of our KEYC News Now coverage area. But if you are in Iowa, there could be some stronger storms as we make our way into Friday. Now, the, other, the one thing that we are going to get is some potential heavy rain, especially Friday night, Saturday, and then again Saturday night into Sunday. And we're talking... Uh, some places, especially a little further west, uh, could see an inch to an inch and a half, possibly even more out toward Worthington, Marshall, Pipestone, uh, eastern South Dakota, the I-29 corridor. So that's an area we are definitely going to be watching here as we roll through the upcoming weekend. But again, it looks like most of that's going to happen Friday night into Saturday. We'll probably have a little break Saturday at some point. And then Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday, a uh, chance for a bit more heavy rain. So... Uh, be ready for that. Could be a little wet for uh, the fishing opener on Saturday. Here's the 10-day forecast. And the one thing that is going to be consistent here is the temperature. We're going to stay mild. We are going to stay generally above average here as we roll into next week. Scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight, Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, Saturday. We'll see lingering showers on Sunday, but right now it looks like we will clear out. There'll probably be some sunshine by Sunday afternoon, although... It will be a bit cooler Sunday with a high of 65. Then next week, once we dry out, a fantastic week for planting. I know a lot of farmers are a pretty good distance behind schedule because the weather's been so crummy here this spring. But some good planting weather with mild temperatures, lots of dry sunshine here as we take you through most of next week. That's what's going on in the weather. Thanks for checking in. You can always track the storms with our app. Download our KEYC news and weather apps at your app store. Just search KEYC. They're absolutely free. That's it for me. Hope you have a great night.